Welcome to the Solemn Tones channel. Today we are going to program some symbol chokes because some people haven't been really using them because obviously I didn't really go over them specifically in the first announcement video for Mjolnir drums. So we have Mjolnir drums right here. Now, first off, some people were asking for a dry playthrough of what the drums sound like without any processing. So there's literally the mastering chain is off. There is zero clipping, zero bus compression, like obviously Generally, you will still want to do some minor bus compression on your drums once you're going to add them into the mix. But so right now, it's completely dry, the absolute dry sounds. We're also on the uh, balanced default preset. I guess I maybe put the snare up a little bit, but that's it. Humanized function on about four or three, somewhere around there. Anyway, so I'll quickly play those so you know what those sound like. Completely dry and then we can go into cymbal chokes. That's that, of course, we didn't play every single cymbal in this specific drum groove. Regardless, it should give you a pretty good idea of what um, our shells and so forth sound like. So getting into the actual cymbal chokes, we had the drum roll here from the other tutorial. But how about we just use one of those hits, let's say, for this tutorial. <laughs> Alrighty, so we have our cymbal hit and now as you hear the second you play it It will just ring out as long as it can. So this is what it sounds like it will just ring out Forever and ever however often you will of course have your Cymbal chokes so that the drummer basically hits the cymbal and then mutes it so inside our MIDI map of course when you check routing you will see which ones are chokes, the MIDI notes for the chokes, and which ones are the original symbol. Generally, these chokes will be really close MIDI note wise to the actual note itself. So this is the crash. And then right above it, you will have the choke. And as you can see, the second you play the choke, the symbol will actually turn red. So when you play it regularly, it goes white, yellowish, and then when you play the choke, it's red. So. As you can see, white, then choke, red. So this way you actually have a visual cue when you're actually choking that cymbal. How about we put a cymbal choke at the quarter note right here. So now instead of ringing out, it will be choked right here after one beat. It doesn't automatically kill everything because that wouldn't be realistic. You're still in a drum room and so of course there is still some reverb going on. But you do hear it being killed and then having that slight shimmer still going on. And that was that's what a cymbal choke is obviously supposed to sound like. So one more time. So it plays and then immediately mutes. You have a little bit of shimmer and then it ends. So this way you can have some really tight cymbals here and there, just like a drummer would play it. So that was it for this really short tutorial on Mjolnir drums and programming your cymbal chokes. As I said before, if you want to use these, you can always check it out right here or just play around with your MIDI notes. You will see which cymbals go red when you hit their chokes. Now, before I sign off, I will say if you haven't picked up Mjolnir drums just yet, you can still do it with the code launch drums to get 15% off. I will put a link in the description. So make sure you grab that before the code runs out. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the Solemn Tones channel and click the bell button to stay up to date. And I will see you soon. Ciao.